Yeah. You want some nice pictures? That would be freaking awesome. Hello, good afternoon. Is he live yet? Yes, I'm live, Matthew. Hunter Davis is excited. Well, that's awesome. Yes, Vanessa, I feel better this week. I know, I'm in my room, right? But hey, it's been one of them days. It's been like burr. So. Hunter, you can't say I give you a sore throat. I'm just saying. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Clorinda. Bathrobe. That's right. That's how I'm rocking it today. Um, I've had, you know, the girls have been like chilling here since Saturday. So it's all good. So it's been too cold doing things. I don't know about where y'all at, but where you at, it's cold. How you doing, Bobby? I'm doing good. Joe? Joe Ray. I like Joe Ray. Vanessa's got the flu. Oh, no. Honey, I feel for you. It took me till like Saturday to feel better. Oh, was it Sunday? Saturday. Yeah, Saturday, sin. Somewhere, yeah. I'm good, Lisa Roper. How are you? Hello, David Hodges. Oh, God. Guess he's back. Dixie's back. Hey, Dixie. I'm sorry. Hey, Amanda. Isaac Carter, how y'all doing? Yeah, Hunter, I got a buddy lives in Olathan. He says he's really cold there. You feel asleep and almost miss this. You feel asleep, Corinda. You feel asleep. Okay, I see how that is. Hey, Jason. Just working. That's all you can do. That's what I've been doing all week. Just working. Okay. Hey, Lee. No baby yet. Happy Monday. I had a great day, Joe. Well, Michelle Stevens, hello back to you. Thank you for joining us. KD will be on here in a little bit, I guarantee you. Don't you? He'll, he'll be here. Well, thank you, Bobby. I'm glad you were. Yep. Your credit is going around. Well, Dixie, I'm sorry, Amanda, we're glad you're back. I'm better this week, Chase. <laughs> yes, I did, Clorinda. Not too good, Ronald. They finished seventh. She was not happy. Well, Mackenzie, Maggie, and Virginia, tell them hey back in Arkansas, Lisa. I'm sorry, Mackenzie, Maggie, and yeah, Mackenzie. Oof. Yeah, I'm getting old. My eyes are going. You know how that is. It's cold in Florida. Mm, I know, Vanessa. Being six sucks. Yes, Alabama won. Hey, Patty, you get on and say I love you. That's it. Love you back, Patty. You're awesome. Mail is due the 27th, which is next Wednesday. Ashley says hello, mate. I think he's talking to you, honey. Everyone is doing real good. I'll get you a belly shot here in a minute. Awesome. Oh, that tasted kind of like you did last night, PCN. Did you? Okay. Okay. Am I overcoming to Pensacola? I don't know. That Jason, you got a good job you watching me at work. Well, go to work, Lee TV. Have a good night. Seven, that's cold, Spencer. He's 17. Peaches, is your man coming over tonight? Is he carrying you out to dinner? Can you stay long? What you doing, Peaches? Oh, it's low 40s in Florida. Yeah. No, Clorinda, I didn't see your belly shot you posted. Ah, oh, how you doing? Yeah, Crazy Dave should be on any minute. And Vanessa says hello. Hey, Angela Womack, 56 in El Paso. I might need to go make like a winter home in Texas. It sounds warm. 
Corinda posted a video today. I guess you posted it on Facebook. I haven't looked. <laughs> Colorado is cold in Alaska, Hunter says. Oh, he's Peaches Man ain't coming over. It's too cold. Can't you warm him up? Can't you make him feel all warm and fuzzy like a peach? Your cat won't shut up. I, I didn't know cats talk, Dixie. Minus five with the woo. It's minus five where John Cordisco is. Oklahoma. It's cold too in Oklahoma. Wow. Oh, bless the heart, Peaches. I broke a couple ribs like three or four years ago. <sighs> Takes forever for them things to heal. Bruise might not be as bad, but I broke some. I could like hear them grinding at night when I was sleeping because I was breathing. <laughs> it was terrible. Clarinda said, go look at Facebook. I barely shot the video. You can see a baby kicking. I can see that right here. Yeah, hey, I see that every day. All right, Jason, catch you next week. I'm sorry, but it's probably my internet. 17 in Granite City. I don't even know where Granite City is, but I don't want to go there. Upstate New York is minus five with the wind chill. Evening, Agnes. Oh, Peaches says he can warm him up, but he's got the babies tonight. Babies, how old is this man? Yes, Cameron, I remember you. Oh, good cats, yeah. I didn't know Arkansas got to I guess it does. That, oh, that's bad. Your dad falls while pushing the car. Sean Flynn, glad you're back. Yes, you do, Vanessa. Thank you, Peaches. I'm glad you can grant me with your presence longer this weekend. I bet Illinois is cold. Mail is doing good, John. Okay. He about like me then. Yeah, Michelle, if you're new at you're new at this, it's all good, honey. Don't worry about it. No, not yet. Everybody want a shot, honey? Come show the belly. It don't. You might want to back up a little I bit. I got something on it. <laughs> it's a catch-all. If, she, if she's eating, it just falls right there. Oh, honey. That's a hot look. Look at that sag. It's. Oh, this is dropped. <laughs> it's dropped. It ain't dropped. He, he just run out of room. Well, he's not up here, Sal. Oh, his moose since yesterday. So, chat next Monday night will depend upon Baby Nash. Well, all right, Tammy. Yes, I'm talking to you right now. Okay, John, that's our secrets. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah, we're going to get down to like 20s, like low 20s, Peaches. So I know, I, I feel your pain, girl. Melly's doing great. Vanna, have you got pants on? Yes. Okay. There goes my van. I was hoping she had pants on going upstairs. Thank you, Amanda. That was nice of you. Oh, come on there, Cameron. I don't need to be all that. No, Clorinda, he's not going to come till the 27th. He's not going to, he's going to stay up in there. I know I had to put my dog down about a year ago. It's, it's a bad day. I don't know if I'm the best, but I'm, I, I've am i heard of him. Okay, well, April, I didn't know you were on Matthew's account. I'm sorry. 
Austin. Okay, here, Austin. Uh, goodbye, Austin. Uh, bet you what, Corinda? Oh, man. See, Peaches, I wish we could get that. Oh, honey, I'm gone again. Wait a minute. Oh, I can fix it. I'm gone. I'm back. I had to block somebody. Well, then, John, maybe Nash should be born on your daughter's birthday. Thank you. It's a boy, little John William. He will not be here the 20th, Amy. <laughs> yep. He will not be here before the 27th, Corinda. Y'all don't understand. This is my kid. He does nothing like he should. Okay? Like, that's one of mine. Wait, baby. She does everything like she should. But she's a girl. But uh, what's for supper tonight? We got chicken chili. Yep. Hello, Russell Combs. I don't know why it doesn't it work. See, I had strep throat last week, Michelle, and it was terrible. You got to get some antibiotics. Vanessa, I'm with you. Well, they just said it was cold in Florida, so we need to go on like to the Bahamas. Well, peaches, I do want it. That way you can spin donuts in the snow. Thank you, Cameron from Scotland. Oh, yesterday. See, yesterday I was in Charlotte when it snowed. So, yeah, I, I came through Winston or by Winston, you know, on 40. And I, I, I saw it, but really didn't get any. You know, it just kind of snowed and went away. Chicken chili does sound good, Clorinda. I'm going to get all them beans, but, you know, tomorrow it's going to be bad. Well, Chase, I mean, come on. The door's open if you want some chili. No chocolate chip cookies. Make my tail big. Oh, pork chops and rice. That's one of my favorites, Hunter. Yes, me and my snow donuts. Where are we going to go, Vanessa? I mean... We had to go to like the Bahamas or something to get warm right now. No, Dixie, I didn't see the picture where you burned your hand. Oh, Corona got a little bit of snow. Scotland is freezing. I bet it is. Oh, break it out, Amy. Go to cooking. There you go, Cameron. Thank you, Russell. I'm glad it's working. Oh, I like stir fry too, Peaches. That sounds good. That might be an idea for like Wednesday. Some stir fry. Yeah, yeah. No luck. I just D, where's D? We ain't got no D tonight. Oh well. I hope Honey, you ain't running out of D, have you? Okay. I hope everything's good with her, baby. There you go, Matthew. Roll Tide. Okay. Um, February. I think I'm here the first weekend and the last weekend, Clorinda. <laughs> Dixie, just turn the heat on, honey. Hey, Mel can cook. Well, what did she say, Clorinda? I bet it does. I had one of those, too. Yeah, but three inches in New Hampshire, that ain't nothing for y'all. Y'all just keep right on getting up. What do I think about the Panthers blowing out the Seahawks? Well, first of all, they didn't blow them out. They only won by a touchdown. And mm, it's kind of strange. The point spread for that game was hmm, seven. So, hmm, I wonder how that worked out. Just saying. Not saying it was, you know, fixed, but, I mean, it's pretty close. Oh, poor John. He's got leftover pizza. Honey? No, man. I'll talk to you in a minute. That sounds great, Peaches. That sounds like a plan. 
He will not be here the 22nd, Amy. We will um, we'll see. Oh, okay. Well, that, that's cool. I'm fine with that. Well, thank you, Luke. Appreciate you being here. Yes, it was, Hunter. It was 31 nothing. Then miraculously, they let them score 24 points. Right there at the edge of the points, Priya, but they didn't let them get further. Or they didn't try to, you know, mm, just, just say it. Shout out for Chase on February 1. Sounds good to me. Hello, Aaron. Aaron, Aaron. Russ and Aaron in Russ and Aaron Chesterfield in England. Oh, Scotland. Hello back. I don't know, Amanda, where KD is. You see Tuffy? I don't even see him. Where you at, little turd? Ah, there he went. That's tough. Uh, did, the did the Seahawks come storming back, or did the Panthers just ease off and let them come back to have that point spread right there? You know, just, just saying. 14 degrees in Kentucky. That's cool. Yes, Angela. Mill is a sweet little sweetheart. Oh, honey, when Peaches comes to do live chat, she's going to cook for us. Yeah. Mill's cool with that, Peaches. Oh, she did? Did she have a good time, Clorinda? There's who sign. Oh, uh, you're a Dallas Cowboy fan. You would have been crying years ago. If KD is late, or he may be have something. He may have something to do. <laughs> okay, Cor Corona's gonna fix you. You cake that the USPS messed up. You're a Bengals fan, or you're hating it too, ain't you? Y'all can be Cowboy fans if you want to. I mean, everybody's got to have something. You're a Colts fan, Hunter. Well, you can watch the playoffs like they are at home. Oh, that was ugly. I should have served it. Oh, you will, will you? Corinda's going to keep Baby John while we go out for Valentine's. Savannah said you have to wait in line, Corinda. I can't either, Angela. I'm ready to smell him and kiss him and all that good stuff. Well, to tell you the truth, Vanessa, I mean, it was – I didn't care either way who won. Well, that depends. See, Peaches, I like spaghetti, but I like it with chicken. I don't like it with ground meat. All right. Um, I don't know if I'm coming back to Elizabeth City or Suffolk area. AJ is a great quarterback. And where's AJ from? <gasps> Roll Tide, Alabama. There you go. Just saying. Well, now they're saying that she's going to have to try to have it naturally. So we don't know what's going on, Angela. We, we were kind of hoping for a C-section. Let's see. There you go. I, girl, I go through it and sailing all the time. I'm always riding. Who, who knows where I'm at? And Carter, I don't know where KD is at. He's usually here. That's a good idea, Corinda. Ooh, a shot. I need a shot of tea, that is. Well, glad you're back, Jack. Thank you, Matthew.
The, the, the skins have been out of the playoffs for a while now. There you go, Matthew. No, Patty, that's fine, honey. That's fine. You can say whatever you want to. I don't watch soccer, Cameron, because I don't really understand it. I've never watched it, and so it's, I just know you can't use your hands. That's it. Oh, you got peeps now, Peaches. I didn't know Peaches had peeps, but I'm glad you do. Happy birthday, Sammy. Hope it's a good one. Carter, KD comes on when he wants to. He, KD may have forgotten it was Monday night, or KD had a real good friend who lost his father-in-law last week, so KD, he might be old, hanging out with Kirby and doing whatever. And he could be frozen in the yard. Uh, exactly, man. I don't know. If you want to send something for the baby, it's P.O. Box 149. Is that right, honey? Uh -huh. P.O. Box 149, Micro, M-I-C-R-O, North Carolina, 27555. P.O. Box 149, Micro, N-C, zip code 27555. I bet you have, Quinn, and you're selling the heck out of them. Hunter, I don't know what crazy Dave should get, but you're right. Why, thank you, Patty. That was awful sweet of you. Hold on. Sinuses, you know. <laughs> hey, when the baby's going to be back? Where'd they go? Um, I bet they went to the darn cookout and got a milkshake. Okay. Hey, it's not that I'm not a, yeah, not a soccer fan. I just don't really understand it. That Matthew, he's kind of an ass. There you go. <laughs> Amanda, I'm sure it will be cute if you got something for baby Nash. Hey, back to Canada. Awesome. Yes, I'm sure you do, Peaches. I'm sure you forget. There you go, Corinna. Watch that trademarking issue. Thank you, Cameron. I do what I can. I try to be nice. Hey, Adam Seal. Tammy, I don't even know who Glenn Fryers is, so I'm sorry. I'm getting over some strip and a sinus infection, so hopefully I'm feeling better soon. Oh, no. Katie don't get no, no, no alerts like that, I can promise. That's what they did, Vanessa. The girls went to cookout and they got a milkshake and they didn't tell me about it. That would be awesome, Russell. I don't know if I'm going to come back to the UK or not, but if I did, it would be cool. School does kind of suck sometimes, but you got to go there. Everybody has to go to school. Adam, I am good. I'm I'm better than I was last week. I can talk a little better anyway. Fried, say fried pickles are good, but I like the long ones, not the round ones. The long, yeah, you know, like the pickle spears. Here, there I am rattling on. Thank you, Billy. I mean, Bobby. Bobby Bilka. Oh, Bobby Bilk. Yeah, but thank you. It fits just my size. Hmm. This I know, Peaches. I do have because I'm when baby Nash gets here, I'm gonna have to be on my game. Oh man, I hate being on crutches. That sucks. Up and down steps. You got to get it. You got to get the hang of that. No, I did not get mail sick, Angela. She's good. The weekend was full of cheer competition. Oh yeah, what did you bowl in, Amanda? What did you bowl, girl? Tell me. Give me your score. That is cute. Um, we saw one the other day, Clorinda, that said the snuggle is real. I thought it was cute. Lisa, I'm feeling a lot better than I was last week. That's for sure. But thank you very much for the get well wishes. You know, Hunter, I think it is. 
Patty said something other than love you. That is awesome. Yes, she agrees with me. No, Vanessa, they won't. They'll eat it all in the car. No, Chase, I didn't get any new toys for Christmas. I did not. That's what happens when you get old. Fried green. I like fried green beans. Hey, Heidi, I hope you're doing well. Yep, that's how it is. But, hey, he's got his leg propped up so it don't swell, and he's got you waiting on him. Thank you, Patty. I hope I feel better soon myself. One fifty, ha! Ah, I got that one sixty-eight. Get you some of that, girl. Well, Adam, if I come to the UK, I hope you can meet me too. Your uncle is in the New York State Bowen Hall of Fame. What's a Bowen? Does he like fly planes? I'm asking. Yes, the bags are packed. He will not be here on the twenty-fourth, Amy. Thank you, Al Cameron. Oh, hey, keep getting your nails done. I heard you get poisoned through your, 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 your nail polish tonight on the news. That was one of the things they had talked about. Thank you, Sean. You don't know. I am old, too, Michelle. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I, Angela, I am, I'm getting close to 50, honey. Wow. Well, tell them, Heidi, I hope they get well soon. Thank you, Vanessa. I don't like tomatoes at all. Oh, okay, he's in it. Okay, there you go. I didn't know if he was flying planes or what, John. Sore throat and sneezing. See, that sore throat starts it all for me, and then I get a sinus infection. Well, I'm good you're all natural, Corinda. I appreciate you sharing that with everybody. Well, you've been busy too, April. You're welcome, Heidi. Then you got a great pal, Adam. Yes, you will, Clorinda. Then you'll be 60 before me too. Thank you, Cameron. I appreciate that. Well, send Mama a candle. You do that. I'll, there you go. You got me by a little bit. Yes, you are, Peaches. You're coming up on that 5-0 mark, ain't you? Or have you already hit it, Peaches? Tell us. We all want to know. I know that all congested, no relief feeling. No, Michelle, I would never call you old. No, I'm, I was just talking about myself, not you. Oh, you was talking about your nails. Okay, I didn't know if you were getting all personal in your hygiene stuff. I was like, well, I mean, you don't need to know that. Thank you, Haley. I'm sure I will. Hunter, you're going to be 16 in a year, so that means you're 15 now. That means you're probably getting in trouble more than you should. John. <laughs> that means no doubt, no, no, no D tonight. Uh, Clarina says, I'll D, in case you watch later. Melanie had a casserole dish. She said you missed it. Well, John, that depends. You're either a really good golfer or you're a really bad golfer. One of the two. Well, Amanda, next time you get burnt, put mustard on it, okay? Just know that. Next time you burn yourself, mustard. Just plain old yellow mustard. Put it on there. Do I need a nose mitten? No. <laughs> I thought that would strike you up. Thank you, Angela. I thought it would wake you up a little bit, Peaches. Oh, me, that makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, you know I ain't got nothing but love for you, Peaches. No, I'm not going to make no kind of out. Mm -mm. I don't smoke and I still get them. <gasps> oh, Vanessa's going to be 30. Oh, my God. You're like 33, 35 years from Social Security. Thank you, Amy, family. I'm going to start periscoping more when the baby gets here. Oh, that's right. You're only three months old now, Peaches. I keep forgetting that. Who knows, Clorinda? 
Tia Lewis, hello. Uh, that's, oh, that's awesome. Hey, Michaela. I hope you're having a good night. I know you're out of school today. Hi, Hunter. High school, the best years of your life. Enjoy them while you can. Yes, Amanda, mustard. Put mustard on it. No, mustard works better than the aloe, I'm telling you. My roof collapsed on us inside the house. They still want money. I have no idea what to tell them, Chase. I, I would think insurance would cover a roof. I'm not, I don't know what to tell you. The baby is not here yet, Heidi, so I hope he's doing good. You like the gown, Jack? I do what I can. It goes all the way down to my knees. And by the way, just so you know, Vanessa, I have shorts on. I'm not, I'm not doing it, you know, like all, you know, yeah. Sometimes I wear a shirt and no pants. I got on pants and no shirt tonight. Thank you, Angela. That was very kind of you. Haley said, hey, Mel. Um, what candle scent does your wife like? She likes weathered leather. I don't know if that's a candle scent, but that's the smell she likes is weathered leather. And vanilla. Oh, that's racist, honey. You can't say vanilla. You like chocolate, too? Candles. Oh, okay. That's racist. It's okay. She says she likes weather leather and vanilla, Amy. <laughs> Vanessa, I'm ready to retire, too. See, Peaches agrees with me, so you know I'm right. My favorite movie of all time, S S Smokey and the Bandit. There you go, Michelle. Look at them. Yeah, look at them non-tan legs. Tell Tammy Sissy, hey, and I'm feeling great. Tell her thank you. Well, hey, Chase, I'm just saying. I, I file an insurance claim in a minute. That's what you pay it for. And Matthew Hammond says hello. <laughs> Peaches, I agree with you on a lot of stuff. I just like to give you a hard time because you're so peachy, so fuzzy, and so warm. You got to bleach your brain? I hope you will, Vanessa. Thank you, Angela. I know that. Yes, Tammy, that's exactly what I'm doing. Tammy Fleming says I'm doing the Hugh Hefner thing, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. I'm rocking the Hugh. I like you, Tammy. There you go. I'm doing the I just need a scam. Yeah. Oh, whatever, Amanda. You need to borrow some. Hey, I hear they can spray that stuff on your neck, Lorinda. But with all the creases I got, they might miss some spots. Just saying. Cameron, I went to see the new Star Wars with my with my son Hunter, and we really enjoyed it. I I didn't think I was, but I did. You own a Mustang named Shelly. Well, that's nice. I ain't never thought about naming a Mustang Shelly. Hmm. Favorite TV show? That's easy. NCIS New Orleans. In a Bugatti? I doubt it. That's too expensive for my taste. No, Corinda, I'm not. I'm going to stay right here in Johnson County where I'm at with me and Mel and the girls and, and baby Nash. And just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. You should know that. You've been here. Uh, I, I work on a farm is what I do for work now. Hugh is 80. I bet he still gets a little something, something. You know what I mean? Thank you, Angela. I appreciate that. I would love to come back to Arkansas, Lisa, but I don't have any plans as of yet. Thank you, Vanessa. No, you're not, Amanda. Thanks, Jamie. I appreciate you for getting me. Hey, Autumn. Oh, I, I can't watch the Ellen show. I just can't do it. She's too opinionated, too liberal. I just can't watch Ellen. My job is going good, Amanda. Thank you. 
What is better, truck or car? Depends on what you got to do. If you got to haul stuff, you need a car. If you just got to travel and don't need to haul nothing, I mean, if you got to haul stuff, truck. If you're just going to drive, you need a car. There you go. Well, the blue guy is a little bit out of my price range. Yep, I work on the phone, Heidi. He has to stay in after it sells. Well, hell, I'll sell my house as long as I can stay in after I sell. Wouldn't you, honey? Hugh Hefner's got his house to sell, but the stipulation is he's got to stay in it after it sells. But well, we can sell this as long as they let us stay with me. Heck, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The wife is doing great, Jamie. Well, I'm gonna say, hey, that's honest living. Either or, Ruger. I mean, both are relaxing. Hunting, I fall asleep. Just saying. Jamie, I'm doing really good tonight. Your son, Hunter, is in the same grade as I am. So my son, Hunter, has been graduate. I mean, like, he's been out of college for, like, two years. I mean, I mean, he's got a job. I mean, I don't think he's in school, Hunter, you know. I don't know where you got that idea at. That, see, Peaches, you got to answer to everything. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Clorinda. Well, you tell Mackenzie that I would love to come back. I had a good time at Tuckerman. I'm not going to lie. I really did. So you tell Mackenzie that I would love to come back to Tuckerman. I had a really good time. Well, thank you, Bobby. The baby ain't got here, Jamie, so he's got to be doing good. I got Instagram. I just don't ever get on it. Don't ever use it. <laughs> yes, I've been hog hunting, and I love it. He'll be 23, Heidi. Hunter will be 23 in about three weeks. I've been to Oklahoma. Craziest moment of your life. Wow, there's been so many. Um, I'm just going to skip that one. <laughs> Clorinda, you are bad. You quit thinking like that. I bet, I bet Clorinda used to date a man with a mattress in the back of his truck. I'm just saying. Hunter, it is awesome. Hawaii is freaking awesome. I've been there once, and I so want to go back. No, Amy, he'll be here on the 27th. Angela, don't ask me any questions. Hey, Tristan, how you doing? I don't know that I'm coming back to the UK. Hey, where's Helene? That's another one that's missing. And baby girl, who else we got missing tonight? We, we, Amanda come back and we've got some leaving. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> no, Amy, he will not be here at 26 at 1159. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honey, Clorinda was talking about you can do more in a truck than just haul stuff and to give me a little devil sign. I said, you used to date a man with a mattress in the bed of his truck. He said, who's like I still don't now? Go on, Clorinda. No, I never met Dog the Bounty Hunter, but I've been to Hawaii, and it was awesome. Upstate New York. I've been to upstate New York. It's awesome up there. I'll bow or gun. Either one. I'd rather have the gun. You don't have to chase him as much. I'm not blaming you, man. I'm just picking on you. Jamie, I come to Georgia all the time. Agreed, Vanessa. We need to be in Hawaii where it's warm and just lay back under the trees. I'm doing good, Tristan. I, Dixie, I know it ain't your fault. I'll oh, come down to Kansas. I need to get back to Kansas. Come see my buddy Scott. <laughs> there you go, Clorinda. That's the spirit. I will do it, Michelle. 
What is the most embarrassing thing I've ever did? Oh, wow. Well. I wish I was there, Peaches. Tammy, I can't answer that. I don't know. I just right off the – I can't – I don't know. I want to come to Beck Mountain. Well, there you go, Chase. Oh, and no Zoe tonight either. Man, I'm my audience is falling apart. Would I ever see you living? No, you never see me living in the UK. Chase, come on now. People that are racist, and I'm just gonna say this: people that are racist are the people who go around and say Black Lives Matter. Because if you weren't racist, you would say all lives matter. Just saying. Think about it. You know. I mean, if you're not a racist, you wouldn't point out and say one particular race matters. All lives would matter. So that's just my take on it. Not trying to be opinionated, but that's my opinion. Tobacco. We grow tobacco and soybeans and wheat. We grow all kinds of good stuff. You're in the mood to car shop. Oh, your new man must make good money then, Peaches. I've never been close to Dalton, Georgia that I know of. And I've been to Tampa many times. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm rocking it. I don't know if I'm coming back to Beck Mountain or not. I need to come hag out. What am I hagging out, Amanda? Thank you, Michael. Here you go. Look at it. Here's a picture right there, Amanda. Yep, 23 years between Hunter and Baby Nash. Did you like that, Clorinda? Thank you. Well, Amanda, here you are. Good night, Axel. Have a good night. Vanessa, I know you're here. Thank you, Jason. I'm glad somebody agrees with me. They just make more of white people get shot just like black people. I mean, you got to look at percentage-wise. The People never look at ratio-wise. Like, uh, African Americans make up like less than 20% of the population in the United States. And Latin Americans make up like 25 or so percent. And, you know, people don't look at rotations, I mean, no rotations, percentages of people's race. All right. And I'm not racist and I'm not, you know, saying anything bad, but you've got African Americans. Males, which are like less than 20% of the population, but they do 80% of the crime. And, and just, it just, you know, it it just works to where it's more in the news. That's all. And I'm trying not trying to be racist at all. I'm just trying to make a percentage thing, you know, where look at it in a fair light. I mean, if you've got 20, less than 20% of the population making 80% of the crimes, then something needs to happen. I'm just, it needs to be a change somewhere. And I'm not saying black lives don't matter. They do. But if you're not racist, all lives matter. That's just my thing on it. Mel is sending me messages. Hear her? I said, heck yes, I need. I don't know what you need, Clorinda. Well, thank you, Tammy. Chase, if you had heart surgery, this might not be the place for you. It might just be a little bit too exciting up in here for you to handle all this. <laughs> no, she just showed me that was cool. Good, good night back to Pensacola. Thank you, Patty. You tell them. The the wife and baby are good, Amanda. Thank you. They, I agree with you, Amy. I agree. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. I've already showed her, Jamie. I have already showed her. You you must have missed it. Trump, I want Trump for president. And I make because Trump is outspoken and, and he says what he feels and what he means. 
and and I'm not saying anything bad about Muslims, but you've got millions of Muslims, but you've got a small group that's radical, that is crazy, that is causing all the turmoil. And, and, it, and it's bad to have to stop all the Muslims from coming into this country because of a small amount, less than 20% are radical. But in the presence or preservation of saving our lives, then I agree with Trump. Stop them. Do not let them in because you do not know what their intent is. Just saying. Thank you, as we are. Well, all right, Chase, as long as you can handle it then. No, no. King Cool, I'm, I'm, I'm not like that. I have not. Good point, Hunter Davis. No, no UK anytime soon. I have been in a swamp buggy. Exactly, Clorinda. I'm doing great, Amanda. Noah King, what's up? Well, all right, you back from the dock. Uh, exactly, Jason. People are, you know, people are looking at Trump like he's a racist when he's actually just trying to keep America safe from terrorist threat. You know, I mean, the UK is trying to get where Trump can't, you know, come to the UK or whatever. Okay, so what? Trump can't come to the UK. That's fine. That means he'll be safe here in America where he's not letting the Muslims in. And it's not because all Muslims are bad. 80% of better of Muslims are peaceful people. Get them, boy. But it's that radicalized 20% that you don't know what's going to happen. Just saying. She didn't do too good in the cheer competition. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know what this guy said. Bye, Carno. Have a good one. Hey, Megan, hope you're doing well. See you next Monday, Jamie. No, we didn't ask about peaches, man. There you go, Tammy. <laughs> there you go. I do like my new job, Amanda. No, today's not all about Martin Luther King. See, that's... I mean, what he did for the people of his time was a, a great thing. But people need to be equal. They No one race needs to be special privileges over another race. No one race should get more attention than another race. If they want it equal, it should all be equal. And that's all Martin Luther King wanted. He didn't want special treatment. He just wanted equality. But now the people are carrying it a little bit beyond that and want special treatment. Just make everybody equal and life goes on. You probably go to Florida where it's warm. <laughs> yeah, there's daughters here. I got a pepper behind me. All right, I didn't know I had any peppers. Oh, yeah, I'd go to Michigan. Tuffy's on guard. He ain't got time for this for, for this mess of uh, Vanessa. Thank you, Angela. Jamie, I don't know. I didn't see nobody. No, I don't watch wrestling. And I do play in the snow, but we don't have any snow right now. So, look, during silence. Thank you, Chase. I mean, he might have got a little radical Trump did in, in the way he presented it, you know, and, and there's probably a better way to go about it. I, I don't know it because I'm kind of outspoken like Trump. But, you know, if you're going to stop five people from coming into this country, okay, say, say there's 10 Muslims. Two of those 10 Muslims are going to be radical. That, that's just ratio-wise. So two out of those 10 Muslims, okay, they're going to take out whatever. You know, they might kill 100 Americans. We don't know. So, I mean, yeah, keep 10 out, save 100 Americans. Sounds good to me. Uh, and, well, here comes the girls. 
Clarinda said, hey, Sarah. Good night, Lewis. So um, I, I, I agree with what Trump's doing. I just wish he would say it a little different. But anyway, that's Craig. Looks like it's time for supper. So I've had a really great chat, and it's going to be really cold, so everybody bundle up. Thank you for all the questions. Looking forward to next week because maybe Nash will be here. So as far as chat goes next week, it's going to be iffy, don't you think, honey? Yeah. Iffy. If, if, you know, we'll post it. Um, so if we get baby Nash and I don't have chat, then you'll know why. But after the week after that, I'll have baby Nash on chat with me. So I do watch racing, Amanda. But anyway, I got to – look, we got – we got cheering everywhere. So it's it's time to eat. So I got to go. I had fun with everybody. Thank everybody for being here. And I hope to see you all next week. Actually, I don't. Actually, I hope I'm holding baby Nash next week, and I see everybody the week after. Not trying to be ugly, just saying I'm ready for baby gear. So everyone have a good night. Had a great chat, and we'll see you soon. And as Trump would say – Let's make America great again.